वेलकम टू स्पेशल एजुकेशन विद हामिद नकवी वाईवे की तैयारी का सिलसिला हम जारी रखेंगे और आज हम इस सिलसिले की चौथी वीडियो दिखा रहे हैं आपको इस वीडियो में हम विजुअल इम्पेयरमेंट के हवाले से सवाल जवाब आपको कवर करेंगे तो आइए शुरू करते हैं फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वट इज द लीगल डेफिनेशन ऑफ ब्लाइंडनेस एंड लो विजन लीगल ब्लाइंडनेस विजन ऑफ ट्वेंटी बाई टू हंड्रेड आर वर्स इन द बेस्ट आई विद द बेस्ट पॉसिबल करेक्शन आर फील्ड ऑफ विजन लिमिटेड टू नो मोर देन ट्वेंटी डिग्रीज रिपीट कर लेते हैं लीगल ब्लाइंडनेस विजन ऑफ ट्वेंटी बाई टू हंड्रेड Our words in the best eye, with the best possible correction, our field of vision limited to no more than twenty degree. And low vision, vision of twenty by seventy to twenty by two hundred, also called partial sighted. Repeat, कर रहा हूँ जी. Low vision is vision of twenty by seventy to twenty by two hundred. and this is also called partial sighted second question what is the idea idea stand for you all know individual with disability education act what is the idea definition of visual impairment visual impairment including blindness are defined as vision that even with the correction adversely affects a child's educational performance the term includes both partial sighted and blindness repeat kar raha hu ji visual impairments including blindness are defined as vision that even with correction adversely affects a child's educational performance the term includes both partial and partial sight and blindness next question what are main causes of blindness and low vision optical defects number 1 which include refraction focusing light as it passes through different components of the eye so first one is optical defects second is ocular motility defect external eye problem can affect the orbit eyelids and corona corneas next is growth thinning or inflation of the cornea and next is internal eye problems can include retinopathy of pre prematurity only five uh, causes have been given here there are other uh, brief small uh, causes but these are main causes five main causes and there is sixth one also cortical visual impairment vision loss associated with brain damage next question what are some possible characteristics of students with of blindness or low vision characteristics of uh, uh, blind or low vision are intellectual characteristics later all no effect on one's general intelligence play and social interaction skills these may be delayed language and concept development language does not appear to be significantly effect, affected academic achievements can succeed in academics at the same rate as their peers perceptual abilities may be significantly affected and include orientation mobility and way finding and psychological and social adjustment may be affected including social isolation and negative reactions from peers so these are the characteristics of partially sighted and blind people next question is how is blindness and low vision identified in infants and toddlers medical professionals may diagnose 
based on child's lack of visual fixation on parents' faces are interesting objects, abnormal eye movement, family history, and visual acuity. Question, Dobara Dekhle, how is blindness and low vision identified in infants and toddlers? The answer is, medical professionals may diagnose based on child's lack of visual fixations on parents' faces or interest in objects, abnormal eye movement, family history, and visual acuity. Next question is, how is blindness and low vision identified in school-age students? Snell and chart are used for screening. Teachers' reports of frequent behavior, rubbing eyes, squinting, tilting head to look at books, holding objects close to eyes, etc. That indicate problem seeing. Comprehensive assessment follows confirmation of a vision loss adversely affecting educational performance. Next question is, what is the expanded core curriculum for visually impaired children? The answer is, skills students with blindness or low vision may need. These are the skills which they need. Compensatory skills, visual efficiency skills, literacy and braille skills, listening skills, orientation and mobility skills, social and interaction skills, independent living skills, recreation and leisure skills, career and transition skills. Next question is, what are considerations for the instructional environment? Assist through the touch and sound more than sight. That is number one. Use specialized equipment. Provide equal access to the core curriculum. Determine the least restrictive environment based on students' needs. Provide appropriate lighting tactile uh, materials, necessary print size, and decrease visual clutter. Next question, what types of instructional technology can be used? Use programs to magnify computer screens, scan materials for access, provide braille if the student uses it, always use captioned videos, Use of a guide dog may be needed. Use a synthesizer that reads the text to the student and voice recognition software applications. Next question is, what are your recommendations to general education teacher? Use of large print materials. Get training on the use of optical devices and softwares. Encourage students and support emotional needs. Consult with vision specialists regularly. Use tactile materials. Reduce glare on the materials. Speak in normal tones. Tell the students when you are leaving the room. Next question is, what is orientation and mobility? Orientation is a blind person's awareness of his physical position in relation to the physical position of the significant permanent objects in the environment. And mobility is a blind person's ability to move from one place to another safely and independently. Needs repetition. Orientation is a blind person's awareness of his physical position in relation to the physical position of all the significant permanent objects in the environment. And second is mobility. Mobility is a blind man's ability to move from one place to another. What are elements of orientation? Number one, physical position. Where I am, where I am going to, how can I get back? And next is significant and permanent objects and environment. What is sensory aspect of orientation and mobility? Auditory awareness, sound alignment, sound discrimination, 
साउंड लोकलाइजेशन साउंड आइडेंटिफिकेशन टच अवेयरनेस टेक्टाइल आइडेंटिफिकेशन टेक्टाइल डिस्क्रिमिनेशन टेक्टाइल एनालिसिस एंड किनस्थेटिक सेंस वॉट आर मोबिलिटी टेक्निक्स साइटेड गाइड वॉकिंग अलोन एंड केन टेक्निक्स वॉट इज ब्रेल सिस्टम इट इज टेक्टाइल कोड एनेबलिंग ब्लाइंड एंड विजुअल एम्पेयर पीपल टू रीड एंड राइट बाई टच विद वेरियस कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ रेज डॉट्स रिप्रेजेंटिंग दी एल्फाबेट्स वर्ड पंक्चुएशन एंड नंबर रिपीट जी इट इज ए टेक्टाइल कोड एनेबलिंग द ब्लाइंड एंड विजुअल एम्पेयर पीपल टू रीड एंड राइट बाई टच विद वेरियस कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ रेज डॉट्स रिप्रेजेंटिंग द एल्फाबेट्स वर्ड्स पंक्चुएशन एंड नंबर What is the difference between grade one and two braille? Grade one braille is essentially learning the alphabet. You can spell out words that way, but it takes up an enormous amount of space and slows down the reader. And grade two braille uses contracted form. For example, there is a single symbol for D, rather than uh, spelling it out like a T. H E separately. Um, I repeat, G. Grade one Braille is essentially learning the alphabet. You can spell out words that way, but it takes up an enormous amount of space and slows down the reader. Grade two Braille uses uh, uses a contracted form. For example, there is a single symbol for the rather than spelling it out T H E. Why why is W different in Braille? The first ten letters of the alphabets are formed using the top four dots. I repeat, Karunji. The first ten letters of the alphabets are formed using the top four dots. One, two, four, five. Adding a dot three makes the next ten letters, and adding a dot six to that makes the last six letter uh, letters. except w because it was not used very much in the french language at the time that louis braille devised this system how is braille written when you write braille you must write the cells in reverse order and you also must write letters from right to left so when you remove the paper from the slate and flip it over to read the raised dots the braille cells will be in the correct orientation and order to properly read them thank you very much ji agar aap is channel ke upar pehli dafa hain to please subscribe kare taaki aainda jab bhi koi video upload ho to aap ko uska notification mil jaye stay